Hi! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to include different page numbers and adding table of contents in your document. One of the recommendations of APA format is to make sure abstract, acknowledgement, and chapters are placed in each page or different page. So place your cursor before the word abstract, we're going to apply page break. The shortcut key is Control enter Go to Acknowledgement. Control enter Chapter 1, Control enter And let's proceed to Chapter 2. Chapter 2, Control enter So to apply Table of Contents, we need to use Styles. So, we need to modify them based on APA recommendation. So, click Styles. This dialog box will appear. Select Manage Styles. We're going to modify Heading 1, 2, and 3. So, for Heading 1, modify. That's Times New Roman, 12, bold, automatic, center, double space. For heading 2, we're going to modify it, Times New Roman, 12, bold, automatic, left align, double space. For heading 3, modify it, we're going to use Times New Roman, bold, automatic, left align, double space. And for now, we're going to indent our heading 3. Okay. Now, we're going to apply our modified, modified styles. So abstract, this is heading 1. Acknowledgement, this is heading 1. For chapter 1, this is heading 1. For background of the study, heading 2. For need for the study, heading 2. Purpose of the study, heading 2. Assumptions and limitations, heading 2. Assumptions, heading 3. Limitations, heading 3. Chapter 2, Literature Review, that's heading 1. Theoretical orientation for the study, heading 2. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs Theory, heading 2. And the last, this is heading 2. So let's go back to the first page of our paper. So before we're going to add page numbers, place your cursor before the word abstract. Go to Layout tab, Page Setup Group, go to Breaks, then select Next Page. After doing that, we're going to apply page numbers. Go to Insert tab, Header and Footer group, Page number, Top of page, and select Play number 3. So as you can see, we have already added page numbers. So first page, that's 1. Second page, 2. Third page is 3. So on and so forth. So we're going to remove the page number found in page 1. So to do that, highlight 1, select different first page. Then close header and footer. So 1 is removed in page number 1. But when you Proceed to page number 2. 2 is still there. We have 3 and we have 4. Go back to page number 2. Highlight 2. We're going to change it. Page number. Format page numbers. We're going to select I, 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 I for our page numbers. Start at I. Okay. 
So let's see our document still. The first page doesn't have any page number. The second page is I. The third page is II. And so on and so forth. Let's proceed to chapter 1. We're going to use different page numbers for all our chapters. So, place your cursor before the word chapter 1. Go to layout, page and number group, page setup group, go to breaks, select next page. So, highlight, I, go to page number, format page number, we're going to select 1, 2, 3, 4 dot, start at 1. Okay, let's check our document. Still, the first page doesn't have any page number. The second page is I. The third page is III. Then, chapter 1 introduction is 1. Next page is 2. We have 3. So on and so forth. Now, let's add table of contents. We're going to add table of contents before chapter 1 and after acknowledgement. So, to do that, place your cursor after the word emulation. Go to references, table of contents. So, there are a lot of options to choose from. So, for now, we're going to select automatic table 2. So here we have our table of contents. As you can see, so we have two different page numbers. We have used two different page numbers. So what if we're going to add another information in our documents? For this example, I'm going to go at the last page of my document. I'm going to add review of literature. I'm going to format it using our styles. So, review of literature, that's heading 2. But when I go back in my table of contents, the review of literature is not displayed. So, to do that, I'm going to update my table of contents. To do that, just click update table. Update the entire table. So, review of the literature is now displayed. So, I will highlight table of contents. I'm going to use Times New Roman 12 for consistency. Paragraph, zeros in all sides. And this is double. Table of contents should be black and bold. That should be placed at the center. So that's how to add different page numbers and, in, and adding table of contents in our document. I hope you have learned something today.